Hi and welcome to the world of quantum tutorial. Now we want to start with the oscillators and of course we start with the basis of every wall of synthesizer, the wavetable oscillator. So let's click on load and on init to initialize the patch and then we click on oscillator 1 to get to the oscillator menu. Just a few words in general about oscillators. You can change the type of the oscillator by clicking on these buttons, but you can also select it here on the display. And every oscillator has um, a control page which, which looks um, the same for every type of oscillator. You have semitones and fine pitch configurations, which are these two knobs here. You have the pitch key track, the pitch band oscillator range for the pitch uh, wheel, and the pitch variation parameter, which is some kind of oscillator drifting to create a organic and analog-like sound. Every oscillator type also has the oscillator volume, which is equal to the knobs here, the oscillator panorama, and the oscillator signal destination, which can be the main destination, or you can lead the sound direct into the VCA, and you can control also a signal balance between um, digital former and analog filter. You can define the main parameters of every oscillator type on the timbre page. Here, for the wavetable, just like for all other types, some parameters are on the display and some parameters are available with the five knobs here. And sometimes um, the parameters are only available um, with knobs and sometimes only on the display. So let's have a look on the wavetable oscillator type. So as you can see we have a 3D um, view of our um, wavetable. You can also change the view to, to a um, view per wave and to a frequency spectral view. You can scroll through your wavetables with this knob here, so you can switch between different wavetables. And then you can scroll through one wavetable with your finger, or with this knob here, or with the big knob in the middle. You can also make the wavetable more noisy with the knob here. The oscillator model wavetable does also have an additional effect, which can be selected here, off, drive or gain, and controlled with this FX knob. And now comes the funny part, because you can also change the characteristic of the wavetables. You can, um, for instance, control the smoothness. You have additional parameters for the um, travel mode. And you can make it more harsh or more dirty. Also change the spectrum and the brilliance. It's quite hard to understand what these parameters do. So I'm going to explain first the traveling mode, which is very important for the wavetable. Traveling means here that the wavetable oscillator has an inbuilt LFO to scroll through the wavetable. So let's try it. I'm going to turn on the traveling. And as you can hear, um, we just move through the wavetable. So we don't have to use the LFOs to do this. You can do this within the wavetable oscillator. There are different modes 
to use this inbuilt LFO. So you can click on travel mode, you can click on cycle. And when you choose wrap, then the last wave of your wavetable and the first wave will be um, calculated like an X fade, so that the jump from the last cycle to the first cycle is not that, um, that intensive anymore, so that you get a smooth transition even if you use the um, linear cycle mode. There are even more traveling modes, like for instance a global cycle mode, which means that every key is synchronized, there is only one LFO. The normal cycle mode means that there is an LFO for every key which you press. You can also synchronize it to the internal BPM. You can play a one-shot. You can play a ping pong, which means it goes to the end of the wavetable and back and back and forth. And also a global ping pong mode, so that every key behaves in the same way and has the same position in the wavetable. And now we can go on and check out the different um, characteristics of the wavetables. So you can, for instance, switch between normal, harsh and a dirty mode, which adds um, some kind of distortion or um, aliasing to the sound. You can also define how smooth the scrolling through the wavetable will be. And you can change the brilliance of the wavetable so that you hear more or less artifacts. The brilliance parameter can be also seen on the other pages. And the spectrum parameter, of course, changes um, the frequencies and um, moves them up and down in the frequency range. And by using all the parameters all together, you can create really digital and dirty and um, very vivid wavetables. But there is still more to come. When you click on this button here, 
which is called Tools and on Talk. You can type in a text and create a wavetable um, by using this text. And this sounds like, um, wait, this sounds like this. You can also import a wavetable by using a wave file and analyze an audio signal and you can also load wavetables from your SD card or your USB stick and export them as a wavetable file to share it with other people or to store it on your computer. So I think Waldorf did a very good job on the wavetables. The possibilities are much more extended than on other um, Waldorf synthesizers and especially the characteristics which you can control um, very easily bring a lot of more um, potential to the wavetables. Almost every aspect of the wavetables can also be modulated in the modulation matrix. But I'm going to talk about this topic later in a different video. So that's it about the wavetables. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.